Sunshines. It's me, Ashley, the library lady, and you're at the Friendly Little Library. Today I have a basket of strawberries. Should we ask Cinco what this is about? I think so. Ready? One, two, three. Cinco! Cinco, why do I have a box of strawberries? Where do strawberries come from? What are we talking about at the Friendly Little Library today? Farms. Yeah, farms. <laughs> farms. I love farms. I'm ready for our first book. Let's take a look at this book. It's called Ten Pigs, an Epic Bath Adventure. What does epic mean? It means like really big and cool. And it's by Derek Anderson. Oh, very good. Let's see what happens. Oh, already we have neat pictures, little rubber duckies, 10 pigs. Look how happy pig is to go to the bath. I love baths too. Uh, one pig. Oh, we get to count. We get to count and I think we get to oink. I really can't go on unless we oink first. Ready? One, two, three. Oink, 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 oink. Okay. One very happy pig. Pig likes those bubbles. This bathtub is perfect for just me and you, rubber ducky. But along comes pig number one, two. Pig number two does a big cannonball. Two, two. This tub is too small for a duck two pigs, and a bouncy ball. Make way for me, squeals number one, two, three. This is a bath, not the deep blue sea. This tub is too full. That's it. No more. Oh no, here comes pig number four. One, two, three, Four, four pigs. <laughs> ah, says five and six gives a toot. Seven launches his boat with a sailor's salute. That's one of these. Salute. Ah, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Did I miss one? They said seven. I don't see a seventh. Weird. Oh, there he is. It's just his little piggy tail sticking out of the water. Pig eight has a castle in the tub. That's going to make it dirty. Number nine barely fits. Now there's nowhere left to sit. Should we count again? One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Pig nine has his fishing pole. And ten. Number ten wiggles and squeezes and surfs his way in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine has a tuba. Ten. Oh, with his surfboard. Oh boy, oink, oink, sunshines. Ten pigs. Ten. Oh golly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, so many. Wait, what's that? What do they see? Do you want to see? Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, run, run, five, four, three, two, one. Where's one? Oh my goodness. No pigs. None. 
here's what happened. <gasps> One wolf! The pigs ran away from this wolf. But I see something funny happening here. Do you see what I see? What's that, sunshines? Is that a zipper? Wolves don't have zippers. One very happy pig. <gasps> pig number one, you are sneaky sneaky. What a trick to play. Oh my goodness, I loved that book. We got to practice counting and it had a surprise ending. <laughs> I hope you liked it too. Why don't you ever see pigs in trees? I don't know why. Because they're very good at hiding. <laughs> oh, oh, Paloma, you're so funny. What is a sheep's favorite food? I don't know, bananas. <laughs> oh, good joke. It's my turn, Paloma. Why did the library lady wear sunglasses? I don't know why. Give up? Because the kids she was reading to were so bright. Well, sunshines, it looks like today we're counting eggs. There's one purple egg there. Here comes number two. Two. Three, what comes next? Four, and the last number we're counting today is five. One, two, three, four, and five. Hmm, that's beautiful. Did you count with me? Let's do it one more time. One, two, three, four, five. Well, we have five eggs, and I guess we should call out Cinco. Ready? One, two, three, Cinco! Hi. Cinco, we have eggs for your lunch today. Thank you. Okay, everybody, Cinco's going to eat the eggs, and let's count backwards from five. Well, he does. Ready? Five. Four. Now we have three. <laughs> now we have two. Now we have one. There we go. How was that, Cinco? Delicious. Paloma wants to see that again. There's one purple egg there. Here comes number two. Two. Three. What comes next? Four. And the last number we're counting today is five. One, two, three, four, and five. Hmm, that's beautiful. Did you count with me? Let's do it one more time. One, two, three, four, five. Well, we have five eggs, and I guess we should call out Cinco. Ready? One, two, three, Cinco! Hi. Cinco, we have eggs for your lunch today. Thank you. Okay, everybody, Cinco's going to eat the eggs and let's count backwards from five. Well, he does. Ready? Five. Four. Now we have three. <laughs> now we have two. Now we have one. There we go. How was that, Cinco? Delicious. That reminds me of a story. 
it's this story. Doug Unplugs on the Farm by Dan Yaccarino. We have, I guess maybe this is Doug and a horse. What do horses say? Nay, nay. Oh, horse noises are the ones that I always do silly. Nay. <laughs> Why don't I know how to do a horse noise right? It always sounds like a goat. <laughs> this is Doug. He's a robot. What color is Doug? Is Doug yellow? Doug and his parents are going to visit the Grand Bot. Everyone plug in, said Dad. We'll be driving through farm country, said Mom. You can learn all about farms on the way. Doug's parents wanted him to be the smartest robot ever. Doug learned bushels of facts about farm things. Do you know what a bushel is? It's like a big basket they use on the farm I think I think that's right like a bushel of apples is in a big basket a baby pig is called a piglet and it goes <laughs> horses can pull plows and they say nay cows need to be milked every day Moo. apples grow on trees Chickens, buck, 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 lay eggs. And sheep tend to follow each other. <laughs> <laughs> he was just learning about how sheepdogs can herd sheep. Woof, woof. When suddenly, Doug could see that the farm girl needed help. And so he made like a sheepdog and together they rounded up those sheep. Oh. Thank you, said the farm girl. Want to help with the rest of my chores, she asked. Doug did. Don't go far, said his mom. <laughs> what animals do we have on this page, sunshines? We have a cow, moo, and a cat. Doug knew that milk came from cows, but he actually got to milk one. And he learned that a cow's tongue felt rough. He's getting a cow kiss. They got hay from the barn. Prickly. Hay is a little prickly. And picked apples from a tree. Delicious. Oh, how many apples are on this page, sunshines? One, two, three apples. The horse thought both the hay and the apples were delicious. He scattered corn for the ducks. And Doug learned that baby ducklings liked to follow him. One, two, three, four, five. Is that how many are swimming? One, two, three, four, five. Yes, it is. The farm girl fetched water from a deep, dark well. And Doug learned how thirsty and smelly pigs can be. Oh, I think we have another chance to count. And oink, oink, oink. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Do you want to help? One more time. One, two, three, four. Five. Awesome. When he gathered eggs from the hen house, Doug learned that roosters can be bossy. <gasps> can you cock a doodle do like a rooster with me? Ready? One, two, three. <gasps> cock a doodle do. The rooster even chased the cat onto the roof of the barn. Luckily, Doug could fly up to get her. Doug could see for miles from the top of the barn. He could see his parents and that their car was still stuck in the ditch. He could also see a tractor. 
Doug knew that tractors pulled heavy things. Maybe it could pull their car out of the ditch. Dang, the tractor was out of gas. But Doug had another idea. A horse, of course. The horse had their car back on the road in no time. Horses are what people used as tractors before tractors. So that makes sense. Doug and his parents thanked the farm girl and her horse, nay, and got back in their car. Everyone plug in, said Dad, but Doug stayed unplugged. He thought about all the ways he'd helped out on the farm and all the stories he'd have for his grand boss. Let's look at what he's thinking. He's thinking about apples and sheep and hens. And he's thinking about the horse and a pig. That's right. Oh, sunshine's on the last page. We get to meet the grand bots. Look at that. I picked it myself, Doug told them. He's giving them an apple. And they thought he was the smartest little robot ever. Aw, Doug brought his grand bots an apple. Yum. I want an apple now. Did you like this book? I loved this book. It showed us all of the different things that can happen on a farm. And it had yummy apples and it made me want a snack. How about you, sunshines? Guess what I noticed today? My book bag says something strange on it. It says, where the wild things are. You see that? Do you think that means there's a wild thing in my book bag? There is. There is the wildest thing I have ever seen at the friendly little library in here. That's right. Oh my goodness. Maybe if we all say, hey, he'll come out. Are you ready? Hey! <gasps> Roar! Oh my goodness. It's Rory the Roaring Rabbit. Hi, Rory. Okay, Rory, our first letter is this letter. Ah, I love to draw S's. They're squiggly. Squiggle, squiggle. Squiggle, squiggle. That's right. And then we have two of these. Here's one. And there's number two. What are they? Did one of the sunshines tell me it's an E? That's right. This one's a little bit sloppy. Let me see if I can fix it. Here we go. It's three straight lines and then a long straight line on the side. Oh, Miss Ashley. Then we have the letter D. That's right, Rory. We do have the letter D. And now we have an S-E-E-D. And that spells seed. Because everything on a farm that's a plant starts out as a seed. So I thought that would be a good word. Oh, it is a good word. I love it. It makes me want to roar. <laughs> oh, Rory. My turn. It is your turn, Sadiq. I'm so excited. I'm listening really good. Okay. Now that everybody is listening to us, let's sing our alphabet together. Ready? Here we go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? <sighs> that was fun. I'm proud of you. Today I want to sing Sleeping Duckies. And when duckies wake up, they quack. Are you ready? 
Sleeping duckies till it's nearly noon. Come, let us wake them with a merry tune. They're so still, are they ill? Nearly noon. Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping duckies? Beautiful. I'm so glad you sang with Sadiq today. I really enjoyed it. Guess what, Sunshines? It's snuffer time. Supper time? I could eat. Not supper time. Snuffer time. S N U P A R. Snuffer. 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 What's snuffer? <laughs> it means snuggle up and read. <laughs> oh, not supper. Snuffer. Snuggle up and read. <laughs> oh, Singa, where are you taking the letter P? Oh, now it's snuggle you and read. I guess that's just fine with me. Are you snuggled, sunshines? Are you ready to snuggle up and listen? I am. I have Sadiq here and I have Cinco and we're all snuggled up and ready to hear the story. For our last book today, we have Grumpy Goat by Brett Helquist. I wonder why the goat is grumpy. Sometimes I'm grumpy for no reason at all. Let's have a look. Sunny Acres was once the friendliest little farm in the county until the day that Grumpy Goat arrived. Oh, he's over here. Mm. He's doing a big kick. The biggest kick he can. Goat had never had a single friend in his life. He didn't want one now. He was hungry. He was grumpy. He didn't want to share. We have a goat <laughs> and pigs, wink, wink, and sheep, <laughs> and a cow. Moo. When the pigs invited him to play, goat chased them off. Cow came to say hello. She left quickly. Uh-oh. The sheep just stayed away. Goat never looked up at the blooming flowers or the green leaves or the bright sky. He never noticed the cool breeze or the warm sun. He just kept his head down and scowled and ate. He kicked down the garden fence and kept eating. After finishing the cherries in the orchard, Goat kept going, but at the top of Sunrise Hill, it's on the top of the hill, Goat stopped. What he saw reminded him of something, but he couldn't think what. He sat still and watched for a while. What's that? It's a dandelion. Goat noticed that the ground was getting a little dry. He got some water and then very carefully trimmed the grass. <gasps> Goat came back the next day and the day after that, he watered and trimmed. He sat and watched. Goat has found himself a little project. One curious sheep climbed halfway up the hill. Goat eyed her suspiciously but he didn't chase her away. The next day, cow wandered by. Goat let her help him trim the grass. The day after that, the pigs dropped in for a game of tag. 
Each evening Goat lay down to sleep on the top of the hill. Each morning he woke up looking forward to seeing his friends again. Until one day... <gasps> oh no! A breeze began to blow. The dandelion grew seeds. It's not yellow anymore. It's white and it's blowing away. I'm scared. What's going to happen? There was nothing Goat could do. Oh no, Goat. You were so happy. Oh. The pigs came by. Goat did not feel like playing, so they sat with him a while. Cow brought some nice hay. Goat wasn't hungry. The sheep didn't know what to do, so they stayed nearby. Goat spent long, lonely days and chilly nights on the top of the hill, but his friends stayed close and visited often. Until one day... The dandelion seeds are growing. It's so very yellow. Look how yellow that is. Beautiful. <gasps> oh, Goat's one flower made all of those dandelions grow. All summer long, Goat was happy to be at Sunny Acres. Once again, the friendliest little farm in the county. Oh, Goat was so grumpy, but then he found something that made him feel good, and that helped him make friends. I loved this book! It was about friends and flowers, and I love those things very much. I hope you liked it too, sunshines. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy. If you liked our stories today, you should check them out at your public library. Bye, sunshines!